All right, have a good night, Pickles. Have a good night, Pickles. See you, Pickles. Pickles. Yeah, it's like, it's like, the, like if they wanted to make that argument for Lord of the Rings, then I would imagine that they would try it with like yeah. try and make that argument for the Haradrim, you know, the people who ride the giant elephants and very clearly have like, like Indo like, like Indo inspiration in their like armor and the way that they make their like their armor and weapons. But here's the thing: in the Lord of the Rings, both in the books and the movies, Faramir has a like a like an internal monologue after killing a Haradrim soldier and goes, Damn, are they evil shit. or are they just doing what, what their duty is? Are they just doing what their society oh, and what their people tell them glad. is what they should do? Fuck, dude. Check that glad, out. Glad. Wee! Wee! Ooh, hmm. glad. Tell hmm. the story of when the Nazis uh, wrote a letter to J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. So, like, when the... <laughs> Sorry, what? Okay, so when the Nazis were like getting their like rise, doing their rise and like getting up there, like doing their mm -hmm. doing their thing, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien wrote a letter to the Nazis, basically like reprimanding them and being like, "Wait, I'm gonna stop you because that's not what happened." Oh, okay. I may be when, misremembering. Yeah, when they wanted to translate his book into German, um, they asked, you know, "Are you Jewish?" Because they were not allowed by law, and obviously they didn't want to publish Jewish books. Ah, yeah, um, right, 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 right. He wrote, he wrote back a scathing letter, which was such an amazing thing. He says, unfortunately, I am not uh, a member of this, what is it, upheld race or something like that. Or something like that. It was, And, like, he was ashamed of his own German name. Yes. Uh, uh, that's amazing. I have the letter here. Oh, excellent. Uh, dear sirs, thank you for your letter. I regret that I am not, uh, clear as to what you intend by, I cannot pronounce that word, R. You want to send it to me? I will, I, I'll post it in Gamer Chat. You can do because... the honors of reading it out loud. I can copy the, the whole oh, damn gosh. letter. I can copy Irish. the whole damn letter. Please do. But I it's Irish. Oh, play. Oh my god. Jeez! You can Holy sh Dear sir, thank you for this letter. Thank you for your letter. I regret that I am not clear as to what you attend by Arish. Arish. I am not I am of Aryan extraction. That is Indo Iranian. As far as I'm aware, none of my ancestors spoke Hindu. Dustani, Persian, Gypsy, or any related dialects. But if I am to understand that you are either inquiring to whether I am of Jewish origin, I can only reply that I regret that I appear to have no ancestors of that gifted people. My great-great-grandfather came to England in the 18th century from Germany. The main part of my descent is therefore purely English, and I am an English subject, which should be sufficient. I have been accustomed nonetheless to regard my German name with pride and continue to do so throughout the period of the late regrettable war, in which I served in the English army. I cannot, however, forbear to comment if that if impertinent and irrelevant inquiries of this sort are to become the rule in matters of literature, then the time is not far distant when a German name will no longer be a source of pride. Your inquiry is doubtless made in order to comply with the law of your own country, but that this should be held to apply to the subjects of another state would be improper, even if it had, as it has not, but any bearing whatsoever on the merits of my work or its sustainability for publication, of which you appear to have satisfied yourselves without reference to my Abstammung. I trust you will find this reply satisfactory and remain yours faithfully, J.R.R. Tolkien. You're Tolkien. The lad. The man. Yep. That, that is amazing. <laughs> I gotta say, that is the longest fuck you I have ever read. Yep. He was very professional and pretty eloquent. eloquent. Both yes, professional and savage at the same time. He could have just gone, just... dear sirs, fuck you, I am not a Nazi, go to hell. Love R.O. Token, but no, he basically took the night, he took love. the very professional yeah, the way two, out. The two German words, Arosh is pure slash Aryan slash Nazi, that was the term for it, and Abstimmung is um, ancestry, heritage, that sort of word. Ah, uh, maybe it was a reference uh, to uh, the Volksch movement that was happening. 
That's yeah. what I'm talking about. It. It, isn't the lo it isn't the longest fuck you have ever heard. It's just a really good way a of very, saying, uh, why does this matter? A very yeah. proper fuck you. It's like... A very proper fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, this This isn't, like, he was writing to the same people who, like, when the guy who wrote uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, mm. like, after that guy wrote that book and the Nazis came into power, he fled the country because he knew what would happen because, you know, it, All, All Quiet Along the Western Front is a very anti-nationalist book. Oh. And so he got away, but his sister didn't, and the Nazis took full advantage of that. They... Oh, sure arrested her, sentenced her to death, and when they did that, they, like, the court on record said, your brother escaped us, you will not. Mm -hmm. Like, Ugh. that is... fucked. <laughs> yep. That is so fucked. I'm pretty sure he, his books were very large in the book burnings also that were going on. Yeah, oh yeah. It, it's like, that is... I have never seen a thing that makes me so fucking angry and, like, terrified that this was, like, the wor- like, it was- it was the mentality of the day at that time. Especially like, in that time, yeah. It's like- it's like how I look now whenever I drive back to my- my hometown and I see that there is a- somebody- Oh my god. Okay, so, like, I've said before I grew up in a very, very small, uh, western Pennsylvania town. A very rural, uh, location. So, yeah. uh, driving up to my to my childhood church, uh, oh, because it's I go you to again, you know, I go to church with my with my mom uh, whenever yeah. I'm home. Uh, on the right hand side, going up the hill, somebody I and it's been there since he was elected back in 2016 uh, is a intricately carved, very detailed stone statue of Trump. Oh no. yeah, oh that's icky. No. And mm. I look at that and I go, and like when the election was happening, uh, when we were driving to church, I looked at my mom and I went, I don't think I've ever been in a location where I have seen more flags for a political candidate than the nation's flag, other than in pictures of Nazi, Nazi Germany. Mm. Uh. Hold on, they carved a statue? Yes, they carved a statue. I'm just isn't, impressed isn't about that. Some, yeah, isn't there something so, yeah. in the Bible about idol worship? Yep. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Just, again, just go on the there. Rules, again, <laughs> the rules only work when they're convenient no offense to our for local those heathens. specific people. It is... It's... Uh... I, 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 just, I just want them to go, well, you see, the Bible is more guidelines than actual rules. No, well, in that, case, in that case, case, I have a few things to say to you. <laughs> These are the same morons who literally constantly use that quote saying, hey, let's Throw, let's cast the first stone, even though they're taking it out of context when it's saying, yeah, let's not actually do it that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, let he who is without sin pass, cast the first stone, and... Yeah, it's not about literally stoning people. That's, yeah. That's a few sentences over. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that whole story was, they were, that was Jesus basically going, you're all a bunch of fucking hypocrites. Get bent. Right? Yeah. I mean, that was basically Ironic Jesus that in... hypocrites are using a story it's about... Fucking cringe. Like, it's like yeah. Yeah. Hypocrites are using a story about roasting hypocrites to justify their hypocrisy. And that yeah. is... Yeah. Nope. Uh, roasting hypocrites. I am sorry, amazing. but I thought you meant that literally. Remind you that Jesus is probably just seeing people do this and just going, this is not what I said when I sacrificed myself on the cross for you idiots. What? But we treat Oof. people with love and respect, and in treat people with love and respect, and respect their wishes. Like there's literally a verse in the Bible that says, "You are to Christian. You as a Christian are supposed to be the be a guider and a example of the light. But if someone does not wish to hear the message, then that is their choice. But you are to love and respect them regardless." Thank you for and then people don't follow that. that. <laughs> <sighs> They're so entitled well, to every goddamn thing. Like it's well, sad. No, it, it's the thing is that they've been taught one way, and they don't bother to look it up for themselves. If you hear something a million times, you're more likely to believe it and never look it up. Like it's yep. the same thing, and I know this is going I mean, to upset the, some people, and I apologize for this. Um, the whole right to bear arms is taken out of context. Yes, 
Let's not go down that hole. Yeah, let's get yeah. back to yeah, let's, let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. This that is the is this cool. is the ultimate crest here. Look at this. Hey. What the fudge monster? The pizza well, monster is dead. dead. The pizza without monster much, is dead. Yeah, without much effort. No, I've been just while you guys were talking about whatever the fuck you were talking about, I've been just goofing around with this motherfucker of this powerful source that I'm just like... You have the just... Infinity Gauntlet. Basically, yeah. It's, yeah, like, what we were talking about, TLDR, I just, like, I... You know, I have my own my own way that I look at the world, and, like, it's like... You know, it, not everything has to be, like, a fight. Like, not everything has to be a bare-knuckle fist fight. If you want everything to be a bare-knuckle fist fight, then go to New Jersey or Philadelphia or Detroit, okay? <laughs> like, if you want to... If you're looking for a fight, then just go there. But you don't need to, to start fighting over the most inane, stupid, pointless garbage in the world. Twitter.jpg. <laughs> I think Char Charlie Day said it best whenever he was doing the uh, the Wired Google uh, autocomplete interview. I do not have a Twitter ruining the world Twitter is. Charlie yeah. Day. Charlie Day said that. And now he's Luigi. And now he be Lawagi. <laughs> <laughs> in yes and no, like, yeah, no, it's the people on Twitter who take things the wrong way, or it's just how people take things offensively over everything. That's yeah, the it's, issue. It's, I barely am on Twitter. Like, I get on Twitter just to, like, like a couple things on Twitter for my for friends. The memes. Pretty much I go on for just the, just the enjoyment you can find out of it, not getting pissed over every uh, goddamn thing imaginable, you know? Yeah, I don't talk to anybody on on, on I Twitter. Only, I very I only use I Twitter. I only use Twitter to either post updates or see if anybody drew me a fan art there, or yeah. if there's just something funny to talk about, and that is it. And if somebody's gonna get fucking mad over whatever it is that I say, all I'm gonna say is just piss right off. Like if get somebody's mad. gonna yeah. try to cancel me, I'm just gonna ignore it. Just let them say whatever the fuck they want. That's their problem. Get bent. It's yeah. like, I go on there to check fan art. I check to see, like, oh, did, 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 did Keyframe post post any art? Is there any art at Keyframe? Did Nort post any art? Oh, look at the, look at all this art. I follow, like, next to nobody outside of the art sphere because I couldn't give less of a fuck about what anybody has to say on Twitter. Oh, no, you know who I also like to watch on Twitter? Fucking Brogar Arts and his TikTok videos. They're so oh, yeah. cleverly oh, made. Great. Brogar is great. Brogar is great. Brogar is amazing. Brogar is, is an example of how you not only be like start out great from a fan artist perspective, but how you just explode on such creative, hilarious shit imaginable. Yeah, pe people, people, people uh, in Twitch. If you don't don't uh, no no go on go on Twitter and uh, follow Brogar. Brogar arts. B R O G A R arts. The man yep, is a good. legend in terms good. of like. Wait, you don't know about Brogar? Wait, who doesn't know Brogar? <laughs> no, I thought someone said that they didn't know about Brogar. No, no I was. No, no, I, was I don't saying, know anyone in here who doesn't know Brogar. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. Ah, yeah. I was saying, I was saying, if anybody in the Twitch chat don't know Brogar, go go uh, rectify that situation. Fix yeah, it. you've got homework to do. You have homework, son. Get on it. This is the this is the one kind of homework I will tolerate because you'll actually find it useful. It's rewarding. Like that. That's that's what it makes well, me feel. It makes the it gives me the happy brain chemical. It's like, don't worry, this ain't political science. You're actually gonna get something out of this. Yeah, this is the science steel rail. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking yeah, you see, it's funny. It's <laughs> funny because science. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready to fight. Why do I actually look? <laughs> ready yeah, to fight with God and anime on my side. And the power of God and animal. 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 Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> just reminds, just that just reminds me of when the Pope had the fucking anime outfit that was given to him when he went somewhere, and it was like he literally has the power of God and anime on his side. Yep. Oh, God. Uh, favorite. Okay. Favorite thing to come out of the pandemic that I saw was pictures of. Like Catholic priests giving baptisms to infants with water guns. Oh, <laughs> oh that is adorably hilarious. That's adorable, and well, I, I love mean, it. purely based on history. And then they have a Holy Ghost whips out uh, a 1911 water gun, 
I bless the you squirt, 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 blast, 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 blast. <laughs> it's the. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like that should be holy standard. Stoker, I bless the. Oh. You were saying the logic? logic? Yeah, the um, the fucking. I actually think the baptism water gun should be standard practice because simply based on history, I would like priests to be as far away from children as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, look at <laughs> that is hilarious. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> the first one, he's got a pretty good stance for firing that gun one-handed. Actually, you see, he's got. He's, <laughs> <laughs> His shoulders are squared. <laughs> oh my god, my head, I'm, I'm, my, I'm getting so lightheaded from this shit. <laughs> the, the, the best. Yeah. Guys, the fucking the like the best one is the third one with the guy who has the hat, the mask, the fucking no, I just, cover and the no, gun. I just okay. So I'm looking at the third picture and it's like, who's ready to get baptized? <laughs> You know what the context behind this was? This priest was giving drive-by baptisms. Like, people were driving up, letting him squirt in their windows, and then driving away. Yeah, I've heard of the yeah. Third Street Saints, but this is ridiculous. Oh my ah, God. yeah! It's perfect! <laughs> Alright, and on that note, and on our note, I think it's time I wrap up the stream. It's... I've long since defeated the boss, and I've been dicking around with this new power. That is the reward when you beat this game. <sighs> you become purple. You, be you, you become an unstoppable force of nature. You become... I forgot the dude's name again. Uh, Thanos. There we go. You become yeah. Thanos in Demon's Crest, basically. An unstoppable force of purple nature. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the last bit of the stream. I'm glad that this game is done. Oof, wow. Time is flying by. Yes. Uh, yes, I'll be catching you guys. I'll be catching you guys later. Fingers crossed I'm able to work with Among Us with the uh, submerged map. Yay. Among Us.